Hello fruit baskets, welcome back to another episode of the Ve <laughs> The last episode we ended up on the streets. Uh, I ended it up around here and I think I was recording now. I I went up to this locker here. I wasn't recording, but I got a note. Let me see if I can... I think it was this one. Hello, says you are things in the big city. Here is Brom. Things are not good. It seems the flu is here again and all we have many. Mr. Seller, the old drinking hag from the third floor. She passed away two days ago and her flat is already occupied again. Jeez, you could have to pay me a huge amount of money to go sleep in the bed in which a woman died of the flu just eight hours ago. Sorry, I do not take time to quickly answer your last letter between taking care of little Paul, mom, dad and my job at the factory. I rarely find time to write my, to my favorite sister. Uh, by the way, my son says hello to his auntie Pippa. You should see the little bugger already driving me mad and mom says you you bring back some of these marvelous cakes the next time you come back home. In your last letter, you told me you thought about quitting your job in the pre Pembroke Hospital. I have to tell you, Pip, you better think twice. There are always jobs at the factory but wages are shit and it's a boring as day without a shag. Oh, I have an, a new fiance and now I'm no slut, you your moral bitch, you. Uh, so if you really want to quit and do something more useful than counting the dead every morning, maybe you better stay in London and join the band. You told me about the guard of Priven, the guard or Priven something like that never heard of them but if they are like you said some part of civil militia trying to make a difference then maybe it's a good choice of, for you just be sure to let the others go in front and how's my poor billy got killed in and how my poor billy got killed in france by lead, leading too many patrols bloody war anyways come back as soon as you can and give me all the good news before that I am your affectionate sister, Lucy, Paul, mom, and dad. So I found this. Uh, I was like, um, I think I was recording, but I wasn't. And I found this and a few other like miscellaneous items inside of this cabinet. I'm sorry for missing that on video, but now you have it. And we discovered that we have a second layer and probably a third layer for this hospital. So let's go. Quickly check what's in here. Is there anything? There is this. Do not cough in public. Very cool. Nothing in here. This is where we grabbed the things last episode. And we have our machete and our revolver. I cannot enter. And we wanted to go this way. Um grab the the wallet if I recall correctly so let's go this way there's the door there it's a big big world to explore it's a partial open world from uh, from my research on the game like to, you know you have to do some research before you put a series on YouTube you don't have to but I like to do my own work um, and I learned a little bit about the, the background of the world and there's a there's a thing over there there's blood did I miss something there are boxes here but I believe this isn't it yeah this doesn't seem like it, but what is this? Influence are frequently complicated with pneum pneumonia to prevent any cases of the Spanish flu, say at all. So it's basically like, you know, COVID from today's news. 
but let's go back to the quest and do some actual uh, fighting and some action because two last episodes were pretty slow and I would like you to have some more action on this one. I'm, I'm all for the lore and shit, but some action can help. Photograph in a wallet. Photo photography of smiling and loving couple with a few words written on the back. Milton and Pippa forever. <gasps> Those sissies! Mr. Hooks and Nurse Hawkins are an item. Those two have hidden their affections well. <laughs> Left light. Oh, so this is the quest. Okay, I should have just grabbed the item. Sorry, probably if you have played the game or if you already knew what was going on, you probably cringe a little bit that I didn't grab the items. It's locked. I'm sorry for that, but you know, first time playing. And I wanted to end the deep to end the episode, so... Quarantine, influenza, keep out of the area, by order of the broad board of health, health officer, yeah, okay. Quarantine, quarantine contagious disease, one shall enter or leave quarantine area without written of local health... Huh? Quarantine area without written, okay, it's probably authorization or something. An authorized employee of the blah 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 shall alter Destroy or remove this card. Violating this regulation will be fined. Keep out. Yeah. So the streets are chaos. We don't know nothing about what's going on. And there's a big ass disease. And there's that. So we have some quests. Okay. What the hell is going on? So let's give the wallet back to Milton. Milton was his name, I believe. It's interesting how, how they hid that from us. Let's go into the hospital. Oh, am I been here? Yeah. The, the doors close on their own. We're in the future now, boys. Where is Milton? Let's ask him about. Is this bullshit? Consider the offer from that Cadigan fellow. Good evening. Yo. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Yeah, I have your. I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over. I retrieved your wallet, with all the money, and a certain picture. Well, yeah, Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Sorry, Milton. Amongst his colleagues and Milton. All right, please take this money. In. Pippa is thinking about quitting. Yeah, we found that on the letter. And Pippa and Milton. Anyway, to remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody is as broad-minded as you, Doctor Reed. Ooh, some big money. What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Pippa's That's tired. Desperate. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. Bound by despair. Uh, you, you do realize you could both get fired. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. Yeah, live During and let live. War, I witnessed a few couples just like you come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other. And that's all that matters. It's perfect for me. As long as you don't bother me. I don't give a fuck about your Goodbye, personal Milton. problems. Just get healthy enough so I can fucking bite you in the ass. Quite literally. Good evening, Nurse Brennan. Good evening, Doc. Why does Dr. Tippett's claim you're the main reason he keeps working, despite his fatigue? Oh, we didn't if ask it this. wasn't for him, I probably would have left the Pembroke years ago. Dr. Tippett's does not think of you as just a nurse anymore, does he? If you're suggesting he's not taking my gender into consideration when it comes to medical practice and knowledge, I really hope he doesn't. 
Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. I like how people don't get mad with us <laughs> for us insinuating anything. So what take me to an hospital? Oh yeah, I need to analyze the blood. Did I make those? I'm sorry, yeah, I made those. There's an idol, there's an idol. There's Merchant, Rakesh, and the other guy. There's the Dark Lady. Oh, so we're supposed to go up here. So we did all the quests, is this the thing? Uh, I'm sorry, main quest. Okay, take me to... Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, get me. I'll give some extra thought to this later. Let's keep going for now. Let's check all these. Okay, this is Edgar. It's locked, locked. alright. It's locked alright, yeah. You don't really like locked doors, do you? You seem quite mad at me every time I try to open one. You know, I'm supposed to explore it. It's what we gamers do. We don't know nothing about the game. We start going through everything. You guys would know. Is this box openable? Breachable? Locked? Yeah, you kind of can tell which doors you can and can't open. Ooh, it's a weapon. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Ooh, pretty good. Okay, can I use that? That would be amazing. Oh, stamina. Oh, it drains more stamina, but it deals like one extra damage and it's a little faster. Sure, let's go with that because it's kind of worse, but for the style points, you know. What is this? T. Eldwood's medical file. Patient Thomas Eldwood, male, age 28, followed by Dr. Tippett's status, date of admission, September 16th, date of release to be determined. Notes the patient face has been heavily burned. Oh, it's the guy downstairs. By a bomb during the war, even with the use of the strongest sedatives, he affirms to regularly endure severe pain from the wounds as if the flames are still burning under my, the skin. He says that examinations of the cicatrized, cicatrized, I don't know, uh, tissue shows no trace of inflammation, infection or swelling, scare, scars are clean. Could it be case of persisting nerve damage? The patient never ceases to blame himself for his Disfiguration? Could it be a case of guilt of the survivor? Phantom pain manifesting as a punishment for not dying with his comrades? Oh, we got a new hint. We gotta go ask him. Sure, why not? We got some extra things. Some items. We love items. I cannot enter. What is this? Tippet stone. Mm. So this is like the doctor's room. Ooh. Ooh, I got a room for myself. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. <laughs> for now. Uh, before we go into the room, let's go ask Thomas Reed. Uh, is there anything here? That box. It's <gasps> locked, all right. It's locked. This box must have every answer in the game hidden inside of it. Okay, let's go. Imagine the doctor just fucking bolting. Sorry, swearing. Sorry. Um, in the hospital. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Doctor Reed. Can I ask you something? How close oh. are you to Miss Horcroft? The Are vampire you aware lady? that she thinks she is a vampire? To wait for her next nibble is the best reason to stay here. Every time she approaches my bed, she treats me like something tasty. A normal person. Aren't you afraid? 
She may hurt you if the game goes too far. She's quite harmless, I can assure you. Her head's broken inside, is all. Her arm busted on the outside. But she's still beautiful. Living proof that there's hope for me. Okay. He was responsible for his disfiguration during the war and Thomas seems to improve both. There is no hope for him. Yeah, he's kind of fucked. You let her bite you? So do you let her bite you? You know that's you not kinky sanitary. boy. And why not? She's only supping a few drops of me blood. And the pain, it's real for once. She could decide to bite less willing patients. Then it's another good reason for me to stay here, Doctor. You do realize she's Your blood is disturbed. looking kind of It's called fresh. the Cotard Syndrome. She truly believes she's a vampire. In her madness, she never refers to my scars. And frankly, if I could, I'd join her world. It seems much more fun than the real one. Mm -hmm. Why do you feel responsible for the injury, Tell Thomas? Me. What really happened? I wasn't disfigured by any German shells. It happened during my leave. It was an accident. Ooh. What really Tell happened what then? What really happened then? I went with a whore in Rouen. Dead drunk I was. The hotel was a shithole. There was a fire that night. Did you start the fire? Were you trying to avoid going back to the front? That's not uncommon, you know. No. It's just that I was asleep when the flames reached the room. The girl was long gone. Bitch never woke me up. Left me to burn. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of a bitch move. Why lie about it? Come on. It's one thing to come back disfigured by the Germans. And it's another to get injured in an accident that could have happened to anybody. Surgery could help you. Beauty is not everything. You can't hide forever. Ooh, what should we tell him? I mean, surgery can help you, I'll give you that, but let's go with, I mean, is this is just um, trying to be nice to him. Let's go with surgery. Reconstructive yeah. surgery has been very successful for some soldiers. I don't want to wear a bloody mask for the rest of my life. I'd rather stay here and just be forgotten. Oh no! Oh, there was a like a good answer to that. Soldier, do you need assistance? I'm fine. Goodbye. Damn the pain. Okay. It's cool and all. We're already almost out of time. Ooh, tell me, what Thelma, why do you feel so attached to Mr. Elwood? Why him? I'm... I, I'm not sure, Doctor. I think we have a bond of some sort. We've both suffered so much. He's the only mortal I... I find interesting. Do you plan to make him a vampire too? Of course not! How could I inflict my curse on anybody else? I'm not that cruel, Doctor. Would you say you and Mr. Uh. Elwood are romantically involved? No. No, Thomas is a delicate soul. <laughs> Even though he disguises it. But I am not the woman he needs. <laughs> no, for I am a vampire, Doctor. Okay. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your notes. I like how he goes with it. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark. Okay. Oh, yes. Anyway, let's bolt to hipsters. Is, uh, yeah. 
And let's see what we can do here before we end the episode. Any collectibles, any item, you can pause the video. Okay, that's a cool note. It's about vampires and vampire powers. Uh, about how we can control people, it takes some time. Uh, how we need blood to survive and how we have superhuman abilities even though we are still limited to our physical prowess. It's a good read if you want. Oh, I get it now. So it's not infinite ammo, just you store ammo on your stash and then you need to refill it if you have some. Okay, so let's uh, let's see what we have in here uh, you first need to analyze the component you found to unlock new recipes click on the analysis okay we analyze it light regeneration serum regenerate 300 points in slow and okay so we have a new serum William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time now. Hope this one goes a little better. Okay, we have some skills. I would like to go for damage, to be honest. The, the bite damage blood. We have so many things to go for. Uh, coagulation, the vampire will concentrate their blood, stopping, checking them the defenseless. But I also believe we should go for health. So let's evolve our health now. Okay. And let's get that bite damage. I need to level six. Increases your life regeneration, blood. No, no, no. more blood from it. From the mods. Can we even upgrade our claws? No, I need level 8 for that. But let's go for more blood. Oh, I see. This bar, it's different from the, the other ones. It takes a little... It takes a little... It doesn't fully complete that bar and it takes more and more blood to become stronger. I see. Well, it does make sense. Now we're level 6 and we get to unlock new abilities like extra help if we want to. That's cool. So now we should have some better modifications. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? Okay, so there's that. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, I'll try to cut out the bits uh, from reading and stuff and then make like a general thing from now on. Like a I read it, uh, I cut it, I think you guys will like it, and then tell you what it's kind of like, and you can still pause and read if you want to. Okay, fine. Uh, anyway, my name is Corvo, thank you so much for uh, watching, uh, comment, like and subscribe if you want to see more, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.